Hey there, Kerry from The Bloke, and today I'm just going to give you a quick overview of the Hazard 4 Poncho Villa. Um, I have several waterproof jackets of various types and sizes and bits and pieces, but for a long time I've been really keen on the idea of getting myself a good poncho. Ponchos have a few, I guess, unique advantages over a traditional jacket, and for me, the biggest one. is the fact that it goes right over the top of all my other equipment. Anyone who's ever had to walk around with a soaking wet pack will probably appreciate this, but poncho covers my pack, it's going to keep it dry. If I'm carrying my camera gear, tripod gear, uh, a rifle, I can carry it all underneath here, access all my stuff underneath, should I need to throw it out of the way, got better access to everything, but if I want, can just snuggle it all down and basically stay dry. I've got quite a bit of Hazard 4 gear already, and I saw a while ago that they put this poncho out, and I just liked a few of the design features that incorporated into it. The poncho itself is stored in its own front pouch here, which is also quite handy for keeping other bits and pieces in, zip on it, velcro on it little hook point inside if you want to attach something to it. Like many of the uh, ponchos these days, you have the ability to clip the sides together. Just make sure I get them on the right ones. I'm not going to. Let's go. And these are useful in the case that you just find yourself in a bit of a windy situation and want to tighten it up. Um, the other thing I would probably suggest if you really want to go that way as well is just keep a belt handy. Um, especially, for example, if you're a, a hunter, um, one of the deer carry straps, which I'm going to probably show you in another video, is ideal when you're not using it to carry a deer to just wrap around here and just hold it nice and snug just in case the wind comes up and picks it up. I guess it's a disadvantage of a poncho is that it is loose and can get kind of lifted and occasionally snagged on bush and stuff like that, but uh, for me at the moment the advantages do outweigh it. Um, this particular poncho has a nice high zip, so once your hood's up, you can zip it right in and keep yourself in nice and snug. It's got ties at the back to tighten it up and at the front so you can tighten it nice and tight so that it will move with your head when you look around or loose like I have it so your head can move sort of independently. Um, a lot of my wet weather gear I tend to wear with a hood down and with a hat of some kind up over top of it anyway. I just like having my ears exposed so I can hear what's going on. So yeah, the uh, Hazard 4 Poncho. It's a... Um, they call it a water resistant material which means that basically it won't be all seam sealed that's often the difference this has actually got some sealing on it but it's often the difference between what they call a totally waterproof jacket and a water resistant because it's not totally sealed on all the seams they can't get away of calling it completely waterproof what I'm going to do with this it is beating water no problem at all but I'm probably going to give it a additional treatment with some neat wax the washing sort of system just to give it some extra waterproofing so yeah, poncho is really cool. Um, you can just wear them over top of everything. If you're sitting somewhere, it's a nice little seat to sit on and you can kind of just snuggle down with yourself totally covered. A lot of these modern tactical ponchos have your rivets on the end so you can actually sling these up as a shelter if you want. I would never probably use this as my primary form of shelter for two main reasons. Um, the first being that I generally sleep in a hammock and I've found that even the biggest of these isn't quite big enough to cover me um, when I'm sitting in there and want to kick my feet out diagonally. And the other issue is, is if it is raining and you're wanting to set up a shelter, you're probably already wearing this. So to set it up as a shelter, you're going to have to take it off, get soaked underneath while you're setting the shelter up um, before you have that cover. All in all though, I do like the idea of ponchos. I'm going to be experimenting with them a bit more. Um, I'm finding I'm kind of switching between the poncho and the jackets just depending as much as anything on my mood and how much gear I'm carrying but I do certainly like getting to where I'm going and not having a soaked 
uh, pack at the end of it. And of course, once you're done with it, pop it off. Try not to get your bead caught in the zip. And it all just packs back up into its own little pouch again. I'm not going to claim it's the smallest jacket or waterproofing solution out there, but um, it gives you that extra bit of coverage and that extra bit of um, functionality out of it. So really liking it. Cool. See you later.